What's up guys? What's going on? <clears throat> so I know I've been a little lost for the last uh, two months, maybe maybe even three, but I thought this was a good opportunity to fill you guys in on what's going on in my life and Vegas, how that went. I know a lot of you guys uh, know about follow me and my pool life, so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to also fill you guys in on some really awesome stories that went down in Vegas. So, um, if you don't know, uh, I play pool. Uh, it's my, the love of my life. It's my passion. Um, I want to go pro one day, hopefully. And if you haven't noticed or if you don't know much about pool, when it comes to the uh, amount of women and versus the amount of men trying to go pro, it's like 300 to like one. So, the ratio. Um, so yeah, that's my my dream that hopefully one day I will accomplish. I will accomplish, I know I will. But anyway, I play on an amateur league. Um, I quit all my other leagues. I used to play on a, a semi-pro league with pros and stuff, whatever. I quit all my teams. I've only been playing for one team this season because I needed time for practice, basically. If you don't practice, you don't get better, just like anything else in life. So um, I went to... Uh, I did a singles qualifier, which is like one-on-one. -on -one. If you win, you go solo to Vegas. Basically, um, if you're on a team or not, you're playing for a chance to go to Vegas and play for $15,000. Um, I had to play two tournaments and win them both in order to win my trip to Vegas, which I did. Um, this was last year in uh, February, I believe. I won my first singles tournament in February. Then I went to regionals in October, won in October. That was a crazy story in itself. Uh, basically, I lost in the first round, went to the loser's bracket, and won my way back up in the finals. I beat the girl who knocked me out in the first round. So that was like the sweetest revenge in the world. But anyway, I went to Vegas finally. That was May uh, 4th to like the 10th or something. I came back. And... Um, a lot of sad stuff happened and a lot of amazing stuff happened. I made a ton of friends. Um, I played my fucking heart out. And I wasn't beaten. I beat myself. I actually have my mini pool table right here. And I'm going to tell you guys about how that all went down. But yeah, I spent like 20 to 30 hours a week practicing for two, three months with my coach, Omar. He's uh, one of my best friends. Um, he... He's really fucking good, but yeah, he taught me a lot of stuff. I ran a lot of drills. I got a lot better. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself for actually making it to Vegas because people play in the league for 15 fucking years and they never fucking make it. So yeah. So first day, here's a, actually, should I tell you the bad story first or the first story? The good story first. Let's go with how I lost first, okay? So, um... I needed to win five rounds in order to go to the last bracket and then win three more games for to win first place. Um, I only made it to the third round. Um, I beat the first two people, like pretty much nothing, like I kicked their asses, whatever. And then when I got to the third girl, um, it's men and women, it's unisex, so um, I beat a, a woman, then I played a man, I beat him, then I played another woman. Um, so I played this girl named Christy. It's funny because my best friend's name is Christy. Y'all know her as uh, Mariko Suicide. Um, and basically how things went down, uh, she needed four games to win and I needed four games to win. So you need to make four games in order to move forward. First, race to four. Whoever reaches four first wins. And uh, I was down 2-0. So she's kicking my ass in the beginning because I was really fucking nervous. And I caught up with one, and then it was two one. So I needed three more. She needed two more. Um, then she needed. Then she won the next one. So she had three, and I had one. So I'm like, holy fuck! I need to catch up ASAP. And she needed. Yeah, she just needed one. So she was on the hill, and I ran out the next rack completely. Like I fucking just tortured her in the next rack, and I, I won that one. Um, then it was like three two, and then I won the next one as well um, with a lot of defensive shots. And now we were 4-4, so we were on the hill. And this is the table um, that we actually have going on here now that we are 
on the last rack, okay? So she's red and I'm yellow. Um, basically what happened was I hit the ball, made it in here, my cue ball followed up here and came out this way. And then I was right here. I hope you guys can see. And basically I knew that if I, I cut it here, I was gonna scratch here. So my only option was to bank it here and I was freaking out because if I missed, she had both her balls hanging in the pockets and like I was screwed. Uh, so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna bank it. And I bank it, I hit it, it hits here, it goes in the pocket, it's perfect. I was like, holy shit, I won. And I turn over and I look at the cue ball and it just slowly drops in the side pocket. And that's how I lost. I basically gave her the game. That's how that went down. Very sad, but not all was lost. We have a uh, really awesome thing that happened the first day. Um, I went into the second room. There's two rooms, 300 tables each room in um, Vegas and championships. And in the middle, there's a, a corridor where they do lessons and they do raffles for free pool cues. And I go in that room and Chris Lawson, this pro, he's like a kind of known, kind of known pro. Uh, he was playing for raffle tickets. Basically, you give $20, you get a raffle ticket. And if you beat him, you get a second raffle ticket. And I was like feeling really good. I had just won my first game. This was uh, day one of the tournament. And I was feeling really good. And I was like, okay. I'm gonna play this guy. Fuck it, I'm gonna win that cue. And he's like, yo, come play me, come on. And I was just like, all right, let me play stupid. I don't know, Chris, like, you're really good. I've seen you play, like, you should give me a bigger advantage. And he was like, okay, this cute little girl, fuck it. And he's like, all right, I'll give you two balls. So when I break, I get to take two balls off of the table and put them in the pockets, uh, ball in hand. So I get to grab the ball after the break and put it wherever I want and shoot from wherever I want and the break so I got everything <clears throat> so I'm like deal here's my fucking 20 bucks you know so he takes my 20 bucks uh and I break and I make two stripes on the first go I make two stripes like that and he's like what the fuck and I'm like and my dad's sitting there and my dad had just told me like oh don't play him you're gonna lose your 20 bucks blah blah and I was like fuck that shit I feel good I'm playing so I, I run out, uh, I have I put two balls in, so that's four gone. I make two balls on the break and I put two balls in, that's four gone. I only have to make three more balls in the eight ball. I run out two balls, I miss the five. Um, that shot was pretty crazy actually because my five was here and the eight ball was here and I had to cut it from, ooh, here. I had to cut it like that and make it here. And then the cue ball came around here and the eight ball was here. And I had to, wait, no, it was like here. And I had to like cut it in and I made it and I won the raffle ticket. And as soon as I win, I'm like, give my fucking raffle ticket, bitches. So they gave me my raffle ticket. Um, you know, I won, I was excited. I won, I put my raffle in. Uh, my raffle ticket in the in the bunch. I went to drink some shots with my dad because I had won my first game, so why the fuck not? I go, I drink, my phone dies. It's like 10 o'clock at night now, or maybe 11 o'clock. I go to charge my phone upstairs, and I look at my phone, and I have a text message from Chris, and he's like, dude, you won the raffle. Like, come get your free cue. And I'm like, I don't believe you. And I'm like, is this real life? And believe it or not, it was real life. Let me show you guys the cue that I won. This is my new baby. Um, it's fucking amazing looking. It's a thousand dollar cue. Yes, this piece of wood cost a thousand dollars. And that is how Vegas went. Uh, after I won this, like I was pretty hyped. I already felt like I had won, like, you know, like a thousand dollar cue, a trip to Vegas. Like it was all pretty, pretty amazing. But yeah, that's how Vegas went, guys. Anyway, my my video time is about to cut off, so I actually have to go. Uh, I will be updating you guys some more. I'm going to get back into getting fit, doing some more shoots. I have a couple shoots up coming up soon. Um, I just got to lose the belly fat. But you know what? It's almost gone, so we're good. Anyway, peace out, guys. Love you. I hope you guys didn't miss me too much, but I'm back. Still practicing for my goals, but here we are.